Eba! 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 Mora Kazeneza to the land of Thousand Hills, man. One of my favorite countries in the entire world. Anytime you see me in Kigali, I become super excited. Please, can you make our country be like this? But today, I'm excited not because Kigali is the cleanest city in the world. I'm excited because I'm meeting African Americans that moved to Kigali. Like, I never knew something like that would ever happen. Because the last time that I came here, I couldn't meet a single one of them. Unapologetic nomad. Please, can you give me the intro? That, that, that <laughs> intro, that Uh-huh. That intro, your intro for a yeah. YouTube video. I will try it. Okay. Uh, we minus one today. We minus one today, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my wonderful husband. Uh-huh. And, uh... We are live. We are here live. Hopefully everything is crispy. We are the unapologetic nomads because we are unapologetically... Nomadic. Hey. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can feel the energy today. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of you all. I, I, it's rather unfortunate that your husband is not here today. I know. But I know you guys are nomads, so he's in Burundi right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Bujumbura, uh, Burundi. You guys are doing an amazing job putting Kigali or Rwanda in general on the map because the last time I came in here, I think I was the only one who was shouting, Welcome to the cleanest <laughs> city in Africa! I'm in the cleanest city in Africa. What really inspired you to promote Rwanda? Wow, so uh, after visiting, uh, my husband and I visited in 2017. It was around uh, New Year's, you know, mm -hmm. holidays, and we were blown away. We just decided, because we were traveling around different countries in, on the continent, and we chose Rwanda. Okay, so after visiting and just seeing how, like, wow, it, it's amazing what they've done in less than 30 years. Uh, we knew that we would be back and we have to bring Ayla. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just inspired by just the peace, just peace hanging in the air mm -hmm. and the wonderful people. And we were welcomed. There was a family that even invited us to dinner. We didn't even know them. <laughs> they were complete strangers. They were Rwandese. They were Rwandese. And they invited us to dinner, New Year's Eve dinner. And we just had a wonderful time. And we knew that, wow, this is a special place. What is that perfect description for Rwanda? Wow. I would say... I have to say peace and opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. The land of yeah. Thousand Hills is also known as the land of opportunities. I'm here yeah. to grab that opportunity too. Yeah. Oh, my name is Wadamaya, the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. You know, yes. the guy who shouts on YouTube a lot, and I'm here <laughs> to shout today. Um, were you forced to move to Africa? <laughs> no. That's my first question, yeah? Yes. No. No. Well, technically, I have to. I had no choice because I was like 10 when we left the US. Uh, yeah. the U.S. So, but I was excited, honestly, because I was young then. So when you're young, you're just like, you just go wherever your parents go. You're just like, oh, well. Sure. <laughs> and how do you feel being here? Very happy. I'm very glad that we came here. Definitely. Tell me your name and um, what does nomad, unapologetic nomad represent? So unapologetic nomad. So when we first um, decided to take an opportunity to leave the U.S. in 2015, mm. there were some doubters. You know, people are like, wow, why, why are you going to, you know, those places, that place? We first moved to the UAE, right, mm. 2015. Mm -hmm. And there were people like, actually scared for us. And I'm yeah. like, what? You know, we'd already done our homework. And we were like, I don't understand what they're talking about. You know, be careful. We're going to pray for you. Be careful. And like, <laughs> I think you need to be careful. Careful. You know, so... We, um, after, you know, arriving and just be receiving so well and just being blown away by that experience, we started our channel. And um, so we decided, okay, it's time to show our people the world, the way it really and truly is. Mm. And because a lot of times we are, we're schooled by media and people feed into the negativity and the things that really aren't true about the rest of the world. Mm. They think America is the land of milk and honey, dreams and whatnot, big dreams, but um, the world is so much more. This is vast and so many places to see and we have had amazing experiences. So through those experiences, we wanted to share that with people and let them see truth yeah. and how the world really, really is. And so that's what inspired wow. us. So unapologetic is being, okay, we love to travel. We're a family of nomads mm. and we're not gonna apologize for being who we are. You know, we love seeing uh, different 
meeting different people and yeah. just being in, introduced to different cultures and I'm a foodie, so I love to try different types of foods and things. Yeah. So we just love trekking globe and we love the continent of Africa. We've also, um, you know, lived some time in Southeast Asia. Mm. We visited Europe, mm -hmm. but there's no place like the continent but, of but, Africa. But why would you leave America in the first place? Wow. To be honest, what am I just sick of the racism, the injustices and just inequality, all the things that are still going on. And we think back and you study history, you see that uh, our forefathers went through these things and it's 2021 and we're still going through this. Mm -hmm. It's insane. And back then that was 2015. Now here, fast forward, it's 2021. We're still suffering the things that our forefathers have gone through who built America. Mm -hmm. And it is just it, it makes no sense to me. So just to give our daughter a better opportunity and to grow up in a safe environment and to have opportunities and to be able to do what she is supposed to do, mm -hmm. you know, we love her and she's very gifted and we want her to be around people that look like her, that will appreciate her, that will love her just as we do. Mm -hmm. So among all things, there were so many other reasons, but that is a big one. Yeah. How many countries have you been on the continent? Take a walk with me. It's all right. Okay. It, it, it's safe in Rwanda. Yeah. Take yeah. A walk oh with yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> uh, how many countries have you been in on, on the continent? Wow. Um, Ethiopia, I guess so. Ethiopia, South Africa, Kenya, here in Rwanda, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. There's one more. Egypt. Egypt. Uh, and I, I'm so sad that you've never been to South Sudan. Namibia oh. or Somalia. Ah, it's uh, because it's those are it's the real nomads, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. since you are unapologetic nomad, you need to find yourself in these three countries. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Um, I just want to know how has the experience been like on the continent? Good. It's been amazing because, like I said, um, there are people, there are a lot of doubters. Mm. And they think that, oh, there's violence, there's this, there's that. There's people, do you know there are people who still think that people live in huts? Yeah. You know, they don't think that there are developed countries, developed like cities and countries mm -hmm. um, here on the continent. Mm. And so that's another, um, you know, thing that we're trying to kill that, 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 that belief, yeah. you know, the negative things that people uh, think about the continent. Mm -hmm. And this is where it all began. Wow. And Africa. And we, we thank you for for also putting Africa on the map because mm -hmm. Africa is rising. It's rising. The experience has been amazing, you know. Since you're saying that Africa is rising, definitely when you were back in America, you had some kind of perception about the continent of Africa yes. before coming. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you heard about the continent that oh, you, you came and realized that they really lied to me? Wow. Um, like, like she said, people live in huts. Ain't, there's no water, no food. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That is like before I didn't even know there were if I'm being dead honest, I didn't know there was like trees. Like when I was really young, I didn't know there was like trees and grass. I thought it was just Wow. Desert. 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 Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, it's, and yeah. Uh, if you're living on a desert, how are you gonna survive then? Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, sad. it's sad. It's sad. But so uh, now you've seen Africa through like mm. I mean for yourself, right? Yeah. What are you gonna tell people who think like that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this look better. Uh, mm, I can't even begin. There's places in Africa that look way better than places in America. Way I have cleaner, to agree. I have way to more agree. developed. Yeah. 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 How long have you been in Rwanda? Wow. Um, maybe nine, ten months because we spent uh, three and yeah. a half months in Tanzania as well, mm. Tanzania, mm -hmm. and then we bounced back. So. Yeah. We were kind of back and forth for a little bit, but uh, yeah. we've been on the continent for maybe f um, a year, two well, months now. Yeah, as a true life of a nomad. Are nomad doesn't stay at one place for long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, you, you define Rwanda as a land of opportunities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you came in here, what kind of opportunities have you seen so far? Oh. Wow, agriculture is huge. Um, we yeah. did purchase land, so we intend on trying to do something with in, within the agricultural sector. Um, we ourselves have a business registered and what we do is sales and promotion. So yeah, you'll okay. find us on, on our channel. We use our platform to promote businesses and people here mm. in the country and different places mm -hmm. that have businesses who can't afford to have a website, mm. you know, yeah. who can't afford to pay for, you know, um, marketing and things like that. So that's what we do. We go yeah. and we interview people. We find, wow, this person has an amazing skill or they're doing mm -hmm. something great. Let's promote this person. Mm. And a lot yeah. of times it's for free. 
you see yeah and a lot of times people miss it like they don't know that. the opportunity the things that we we just give you know um unfortunately business is going to have to be you yeah. know different soon because yeah. we had to generate something uh, how, how many subscribers do you have now the last time i checked hey. 25 yeah 25k oh. 25 000. bring the camera on me then you know, I've been telling you guys that it's time to change the narratives of Africa. And when I started this project, the main intentions of this whole project is to, I mean, change the narrative of Africa with African content creators, yeah? But to see people all the way from America to come to the continent to promote the continent, even people in Rwanda are not doing the job that they are doing. So you know what? I don't beg anymore. It's by force, yeah? I'm going to put a link in the description. Go there. Go subscribe and go tell them that what Amaya told me that it's by force to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm going to be there to make sure that all of you have subscribed. And I'm going to be there to make sure that each and every one of you have left a comment. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know my next question yet. Yeah? <laughs> But you know, like, can we just shout out and say thank you to all of you who have helped us get to 25k? Yes, thank we you. thank you so much. We have so many dedicated subscribers, mm -hmm. followers, people who just view us and they're just on every time we go on. We yes. want to say thank you for your love and your continued support. Thank and you. And so what are you going to tell the new ones that are coming? Hey, come on, welcome hey. to the family. <laughs> welcome to the family. Welcome. Yeah, what should they expect when they come to the channel then? Hey, we're going to be um, pushing more content about not only Rwanda, but different places that we uh, plan on traveling in the near future. Yeah. And we're promoting the continent heavy because there's so much that people need to know, understand, and to see. Um, in reality, things that are happening right now on the ground on mm. this beautiful, beautiful continent. Is yes. it affordable to live in Rwanda? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I think that if people don't come and live above their means, mm. you know, mm. so um, it's much, much more affordable than yeah. living in Western, in the West, you know, in the U.S. and different places, even Canada. So yeah. it's very, very affordable. And yeah. Um, yeah. what about, is it safe to stay in here? Oh, yes. Absolutely. You know what? I was uh, blown away as a, as a female, right? And I, even though I'm married, you know, just going around and looking, and if we drive around at night, you'll see individuals running and yeah. walk jogging at night and walking mm -hmm. at night, you know, and I've even seen elders yeah. out and about at night, you know. That's within curfew, though. Within curfew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, I was just blown away to see that. I'm like, wow, yeah. okay. And I don't hear anything about crime. It is very safe. Because mm. people ask that question, is there a crime? You know, is it safe for a single female? Mm. Of course. Of course. Peace, love, and light, everybody. We're in Buiza, in Bujambura, and we're at a place called New Viso Naviso. And I think this is a good uh, place I want to show you for those of you who are traveling solo or maybe a couple that's on a budget. You know, wh what have you learned so far since you came to the continent? Since we came to the continent, I've learned. Just as she was saying, you cannot trust the media. <laughs> you got to see things with your own eyes. Yes, definitely. Um, and it's, it's an eye-opening experience, honestly. You learn a lot through traveling, more than people know. Because people always ask, does she go to school? <laughs> what school is she in? And I'm like, "Yeah, y'all, you not know the things I'm learning just by traveling? Traveling is a whole education. It is. Whole education. Because, whole you know, education. I didn't know so many things. Exactly. Yeah. I was so ignorant, I'm not going to lie. And when I started traveling, I, I, don't, I think I wasted my time in classroom, man. Uh, I said, I've just been on the road from yeah, one country yeah. to another. It, it, it's a whole university on its own. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know what? I have so many people that watch me have never been on the continent. Mm -hmm. If you should tell them something, yeah. what are you going to say? For uh, those of you that have never been here, just know, don't trust the media. <laughs> once, <laughs> again. <laughs> once again. Once <laughs> again. Well, yourself, again. Yeah. Yourself, yeah. It, it's an eye-opening experience. It is mind-boggling. Her favorite word. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's, it's a beautiful place. It definitely is. The people are wonderful. You'll learn so many things. You, you really will. It's a wonderful experience. You know, sometimes I, you know, I, I, I talked, I, I talked to so many African Americans. There was a time I wanted to sponsor an African American kid to move to the continent just to visit. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I found out that he doesn't have a passport. Wow. Wow. Uh, so I, I couldn't yeah. I couldn't even proceed to what I wanted to do because he's like, my I don't have a passport. I'm like, you know, passport is something that I think every kid needs to have. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, we have so many African diaspora um, that are looking forward to um, visit the continent or even move mm -hmm. to the continent. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been here, you've been on the continent for two years, and 
if you have something to tell them in terms of how they should prepare themselves and uh, before they get here, what would that message be? Uh, to prepare yourself? Yeah. <clears throat> I would say, of course, um, visit. You know, visit make first. your list. Visit wherever you think you want to go. Just visit first and see if you... If that per place connects with you, yes. because what's for me might not be for you. Exactly. You know, even though I know how wonderful it is here in Rwanda, there's so many other places on yeah. this beautiful continent to visit. And um, we intend to visit more, but do visit and do your own homework. Yes. And, um, yes. you know, if you don't know something, find someone who is there and ask questions, you know, because mm -hmm. there are people who will up root their entire life and move somewhere yeah. and then they're like i don't know if this was the right move you see so we always say we push visit visit, visit first you know and do your homework ask yeah. questions write jot down questions that you might have yeah. like um what is the educational system like right. if you have children um what is the um average you know cost of, of for rent renting yeah. a house renting an apartment right. um and um, we do provide webinars. I do that. So I yeah, educate people who need information to help them with those types of things. So definitely do your homework first. You know, don't yeah, do that. Because I've seen people make mistakes like that. Right. And then they end up going right back to where they came mm -hmm. from, back in the States. Ooh. Then they're like, oh, I wish I had. But then it's too late. You know, this is an advice that you guys need to pay for, but mm -hmm. she's giving you all that for free. Right. And this is why I'm telling you that you need to go and subscribe to that YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, v Turner said our family is looking to visit the next year and would like to inquire about any vacancies. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming you sure. Okay. The Airbnb. Do you have any vacancies? Oh, you see me raising my hand. We have some. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, yes, they have vacancies. You've been on the continent for two years. I mean, what is your favorite food? I mean, food that well, whenever you say it, you'll be like, you know, I need to eat this. Isombe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is that? I don't even know. Cassava leaves <laughs> too. Know it is. Oh, cassava leaves. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. What about you? The same thing? I like dodo. Dodo, dodo is the spinach. Too. Yeah. Their version of spinach. I love it. I learned how to cook it. And, um... Uh, there's certain the way they do their their uh, meats, you know, Ooh. like the the brochettes. Yeah, those are good. Brochettes. Yeah, good. And, brochettes. and definitely all can be rosy. Yeah, what are the things that you think people need to prepare themselves for? The challenges that they're gonna face when they get to the continent. Okay, I think a big challenge. Um, well, here in Rwanda, transportation. Okay, to That's, be honest, yeah. so. I think that's your biggest cost. Yes, transportation, biggest cost. you know. Yes, so yes, taking yes. taxis, yes. Yeah, yeah, taking yes. taxis all like what what uh being that we are YouTubers, we're always on the go. Yeah. So, you know, if there are different modes of transportation, but if you're taking a taxi all the time, you know, if you have a big family, eh, you want to consider maybe purchasing a vehicle or bringing over your vehicle, mm. you know, that kind yeah. of thing, so if that's possible. Um, but um mm. that could be like a, a challenge. A small challenge, I would say you can you can get things shipped mm -hmm. you just have to know the regulations and all of that like how that all that works the shipping is is a the problem shipping. worldwide right that's now worldwide. So. so that's if you just leave in america going anywhere shipping Ooh. is going to be an issue yeah mm -hmm. and language 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 language. Yeah. Language, barrier. language barrier language barrier yes so learning uh, at least um the language well enough to kind of get around yeah. being able to ask questions right. you know you saying that. hello what is your name how much is this that mm -hmm. kind of thing so um definitely i would say learning yeah. uh kinwandan if you're coming here yeah. and also swahili swahili is a big one yeah, because French. swahili is going to be uh useful in many places on the continent yeah. you know so if you find a way to link up with someone and take classes or learn mm -hmm. the language and um definitely yeah. we also provide a service through our website there's a gentleman that yeah. um shout out to him shout out to pox who, who actually teaches uh kinwanda oh. classes oh wow so if you're trying to come to rwanda you can link up sign up through the website and take a class you've learned a lot on the continent if you had a chance to change one thing on the continent what will it be wow change change something if you had an opportunity Ooh. to change one thing hmm i would say uh got a good one um maybe a, a way for us as the diaspora yeah. to be able to settle a little easier yes on the yes. continent different in different countries right um because i think that the pathway 
to come is you know still kind of how everybody does and it's like um there are people who really want to be here mm-hmm. are you know our folks from the diaspora Genuinely, so i think yeah. making things a little easier and ways to, for us to settle and get things done yes a little quicker maybe that mm-hmm. you know because we there are so many of us who really come and want to work and to help and we come to get our hands dirty and to help build so right. I think that would be one thing I could think of. And yeah. I hope these African leaders are going to listen to you. But if in case they don't listen, if I ever become president, that will be the first thing that I will change on the continent. Wow. Yeah, hey. Because, you know, Africa belongs <laughs> to Africans, both Africans home and Africans abroad. I want to say thank you so much for sharing such a beautiful experience with me. I really appreciate your time. My name is Wadamaya. It's by force to go subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you are new here, please do me a favor. Subscribe and be part of this awesome family. And uh, you know what? I'm going to see you in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out.